Hey guys, welcome to Lido Lab. Today we are going to prepare carbon dioxide using a simple laboratory method. We will need a valve bottle, a thistle funnel, a delivery tube and a glass jar. A valve bottle is a double mouth glass apparatus used in a chemistry lab to prepare gases. To get started, we need pieces of marble or calcium carbonate as the starting material. Now we pour some dilute hydrochloric acid into the marble chips through the thistle funnel in such a way that the marble chips are completely immersed in it. When calcium carbonate reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid, it releases carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide then passes through the delivery tube and is collected in the gas jar. Since carbon dioxide is heavier than air, it sinks below and the air in the jar floats above it. Thus, the air is displaced in an upward direction during the collection of carbon dioxide. This method is called the upward displacement of air. So we can clearly see that the density of carbon dioxide is more than that of air. It is about 1.5 times heavier than air. The first few bubbles of carbon dioxide gas are not collected. They are allowed to escape as they may contain air and other impurities. The remaining gas is then collected in the gas jar. Carbon dioxide is always collected over air and never water because it's highly soluble in water, which means it completely dissolves in water. Now that we are done collecting the gas, let us now check the nature of it, whether it is acidic, basic or neutral. We will take the red and blue litmus paper, moisten them and hold them over the gas jar. Since the blue litmus paper turned red, we know that carbon dioxide is acidic in nature. To produce carbon dioxide, we could also use sulfuric acid or H2SO4 instead of dilute hydrochloric acid. But this also produces calcium sulfate or CaSO4 which is insoluble in water and formed as a byproduct during the reaction. It thus forms a layer above the marble chips and stops the reaction. So for production of carbon dioxide, hydrochloric acid is preferred. That's all for our experiment today. See you next time.